Hey guys, this is Mark with AdultAspergersChat.com <clears throat> and today I want to talk to the guys on the autism spectrum who are married. Uh, you don't have permission to relax in the marriage. You don't have permission to relax in the marriage. We might be thinking, what the hell do you mean, Mark? Well, uh, what happens oftentimes, <clears throat> I'm finding with guys on the autism spectrum, they go, uh, <clears throat> I've already done all my work. My mission is accomplished. I've arrived. I can relax. And what they mean by that is, well, you know, I asked her to go out. I, we went on dates. I asked her to marry me. She married me. Um, we had kids. Um, I have a job. She may or may not work uh, part-time or full-time. And, you know, I'm paying the bills. And I'm co-parenting at least as far as I'm concerned so I've arrived I can rest uh -uh, you can't <clears throat> I got news for you the marriage doesn't have an, a destination that you uh, land on and it's over you know if you were going to uh, San Francisco from New York you would have an ending destination, right? You would drive there, you would find your hotel, you would park in the parking spot, and you'd get out of the car and go into your hotel room and lay down. You're done, right? Uh, a marriage doesn't work like that. There is no arrival. You're always growing, you're always learning, you're always creating, you're always uh, nurturing one another. She is your soulmate. She is your life companion. She is your co-team player on a team of two. And there's ongoing growth and improvement that is supposed to happen. And so if you have the uh, thought that there's no more work to be done and all the work is over and all you have to do is just maintain the status quo of get up and go to work and then come home and relax with your special interest or whatever, uh, then that's why you're experiencing a lot of grief with your NT wife because she's not ready to just, you know, okay, well, we're done growing in this relationship so we can just chill out. She doesn't think like that, nor should you. Ongoing growth would include give and take in conversation, stopping what you're doing and not be distracted and instead pay attention to her and listen to what she's saying give her some uh, love compassion gratitude validation nurturing physical affection sex so it's not just enough to do for her and i know that that's how a lot of you guys show your love <clears throat> seriously a lot of you guys show your love by doing for her. And many of you do a wonderful job with that. You work, you bring home the money, you may do some chores around the house, you may do some helping out with taking care of the kids and whatnot. And uh, when you do something for her, you know, like, I don't know, change her oil on her in her car or something like that, you're task oriented and your task that you you spent your time and energy on something for her that is how you show your love and hopefully she understands that but it's not enough it's not enough just to do for her that's only 50 percent of the equation the other part is you have to be with her there's doing for and there's being with She's missing the part where you're supposed to be with her. That's what she's wanting. She's saying, I want some emotional reciprocity. I want some empathy. That's the being with part. And being with her is an ongoing project. So if you want to turn it into another task, hey, fine. So put it on your to-do list. At five o'clock, I'm going to be with my wife, not with my cell phone and my computer. Or I'm not going to be distracted with other things. I'm going to be with my wife in the sense that I'm focusing on her, 
focusing on us, focusing on the team. So that's the moral to this story, guys. You can't relax. You've been relaxing. You thought you could just have a permanent timeout. No. The relationship is ongoing and there's always work to be done.